we have here two poles P and Q inside the primitive circle with center O. A pole in a stereographic projection represents a direction in a space. So two poles here, P and Q, represent two distinct directions in a space. So in a space, they will define a unique plane. That plane will project in the stereographic projection as a great circle. I have shown it in red here. Our job in this video is to find and draw this great circle passing through two points P and Q, two poles P and Q. But two points in a plane do not define a unique circle. So, for example, this is another circle passing through the same points P and Q, but this is not a great circle. So, how do we find the unique circle, the great circle passing through two given poles? To do this, let us first consider a few special cases. So, if P and Q both lie on the primitive circle itself, then both of them represent horizontal directions. So, the plane passing through them will be a horizontal plane. And we know that horizontal plane projects as the primitive circle. So, the great circle passing through P and Q is the primitive circle itself. We don't have to do anything here. The second special case, let us consider one of the poles to be the center of the primitive itself. So we have two poles P and O and O is the center of the primitive itself. Now center of the primitive represents a vertical direction. So the plane passing through P and O will be a vertical plane. And the vertical plane projects as a diameter of the primitive circle. So here, all we have to do is to draw a diameter of the primitive circle through P. And that's the great circle. This diameter is the great circle passing through P and O. This is a great circle of infinite radius. It's actually a straight line. And now let us consider the more interesting case of two general poles. Now we have already seen that two points will not define a unique circle. So to get our great circle, we have to find a third point which also lies on the great circle. That's not difficult to find. If a direction lies in a plane, the opposite direction lies also on the same plane. So if a pole lies on a great circle, the opposite of the pole will also lie on the same great circle. So if we find opposite of either P or Q, we will get the third point which will then determine the great circle we desire. So let us choose Q and find the opposite of Q. This exercise we have done in the previous video, stereographic projection 4, so we use that technique to find the opposite of Q which lies on this diametric line through Q, let us say somewhere at Q prime. Once we have found Q prime, now we have three points P, Q and Q prime all lying on the same great circle and they will define a unique great circle. This is an interesting exercise in geometry and let me review it for you. So if P and Q are lying on a circle, the center will lie on the perpendicular bisector of the chord PQ. Because every point on this bisector MN is equidistant to P and Q. So the center somewhere lies on MN. Similarly, since Q and Q prime are lying on the circle, Q Q prime is a chord of the circle, the bisector of this chord also will contain the center of the 
circle. So the center of the circle lies both on MN and ST. So the intersection of these two bisector, the point C is the center of the circle. And once we have the center of the circle, we have points lying on the circle, it's an easy job to draw the great circle. Put the tip of the compass at C and tip of the pencil at P and draw your great circle, which I do here. So this red circle is the great circle passing through P and Q. And following the convention, we do not show the part lying outside the primitive and retain only the inside part. Why am I explaining all these constructions in so much detail? Nowadays, you will not need to draw these constructions by hand. There are computers and there are software which will draw all sorts of stereographic projections for you. But the idea behind explaining these constructions is that if you wish to understand the algorithm behind those software, if you want to have a deeper understanding of stereographic projection, then doing a few constructions with your hand will greatly help you. So what are you waiting for? Take out your compass and pencil and enjoy drawing the great circle. Happiness is guaranteed. Thank you.